Welcome to my mini review of the brand new Parasirius SB gimbal controller. Uh, here I have it mounted on my uh, Vampire on the new Scarab Armoured Gimbal Black, which I've done other videos on already. And I just wanted to go over some of the features of the gimbal controller. It's an Alexmos based controller. Uh, using the base cam uh, software etc uh, it's a little bit different to the other ones on the market the first thing you notice is it's in a solid metal case um, now the case does a little bit more than just protect the circuit board in the case of uh, this particular version um, multi-way copter have included a faster controller chip uh, and also used the case as a heat sink to help dissipate heat away from that faster controller chip. So there's a little bit more than just circuit board protection um, behind the case. The other thing that's a big difference with everything else on the market is that the sensor itself is also in a little metal case. So all of the electronics are completely protected, which is... Um, unique as far as i know when it comes to any of the alexmos based controllers um, the other really cool feature of this is the fact that it actually comes with the latest firmware preloaded it's pre-configured it has a profile already taught learnt into it and has been pre-calibrated with the sensor so this is as close as you are ever going to get to a plug and play controller in fact, if you use the um, Scarab gimbal with the Parasirus gimbal controller as a package, um, the controller truly is plug and play. Okay, you just plug it in and it works with a few little provisos. Firstly, it needs to run on 4S. It will The controller itself will run from 2S to 4S, but with these motors in this configuration, it has to run on 4S. Um, so the only thing you have to do is plug in your two motors. The motor outputs are on this side. M1 is your roll motor. M2 is the pitch motor. Um, you plug in your sensor. And I'm going to go through the sensor wiring and stuff because that's pretty um, important in, a, in my next video. And you've got a power lead coming out, which you plug into your 4S loom that's already on your Scarab aircraft. And the other thing that comes with it is this control input loom. And really the only wire you have, you don't have to worry about any of that. You can leave the loom completely off, but this red and black thin loom, I've got that plugged into channel eight on my receiver and that gives me uh, a pitch override on my radio, which again, I'll show you in another video. So basically I can manually alter the, the pitch setting of the camera based on the output of channel 8 on my radio. But the really cool thing about this is if you buy it as a package, the controller with the gimbal, it's all done for you. The controller is ready to go. In fact, I'm about to go through um, some fault finding for this gimbal and controller. And the last thing you want to do is grab one of these, a USB lead. Right, if you have a problem with this setup, I'll go through it in another video. Don't grab this. Don't even think about it. The only time you need to plug a USB into the USB socket on this controller is if you're not using this gimbal or these motors. If you want to just use it as is, never, ever, 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 ever plug a USB lead into it because you will mess with the parameters and that will lead you down the path to confusion and poor performance. This thing is optimized. It comes packed, ready to go for this gimbal. You don't have to do another thing with it. So um, I think the price, the pricing is a tiny bit higher than the other um, models out on the market, but that's because you're getting all the metal fittings. You're getting a better controller and more importantly, getting it pre-calibrated and pre-loaded with a profile ready to work on this gimbal. So, um, 
great little new little product from multi -Wee Copter, and uh, I'll be back. In my next video, I'm going to go over tweaking and fault finding this whole rig.